Hey guys, what's up? It's AppCritics from AppCritics.com and iOS 14 houses a lot of great features, but one of the most underrated features that nobody's really talking about is the new Translate app. So here we have the Translate app right at the bottom. So the Translate app is very unique and it just allows you uh, to just translate all your different uh, language requests. So going into the Translate app, you can see that you have the option to translate from English to Spanish, but we can actually tap on Spanish and you're going to notice there's 11 different languages to choose from. So, so you can see you have all these languages right here and you thought that was good enough, but we can actually download it offline so we can use these languages offline to fulfill our request. So it doesn't always have to use a server and you don't always have to be online and have cellular connection in order to use the Translate app. So that is definitely uh, the gravy on top. Uh, so what we can do is actually uh, go ahead and translate something. How much for that new car? Cuánto por el coche nuevo? And you can see right away it just translated uh, what I said. So it's very fast in that way. So that's definitely a very fast translator. So we can favorite a particular phrase. You can also press this button uh, to uh, take a look at each particular word uh, in the sentence to see uh, where it comes from, how to use it, if it's an adjective, adverb, and different uses for it. So that's really good. Uh, so it just has a dictionary uh, in this translator. So it allows you to get better with the language. Uh, now what we can also say is, how much for that new house? So you can see that it just was able to translate it. Now what we can also do is just turn it into landscape mode and that's when things get interesting. So we have that full view and it will translate even faster. I want to buy a new video camera. You can see that the Siri Translate app did work and it just was very fast. So that is what you can do with the app. Now, my favorite part of it is just that offline mode and the fact that there's 11 languages. Now, we can also tap on the tab at the bottom. Uh, so you just have the translate and then favorite. And then with the favorite, it'll just tell you uh, your favorite phrase that you just hit the star button for. Then you have all your recent conversations so you can always refer to them. That is what the Translate app allows you to do. And it's just very solid overall. And it's just a very promising feature of iOS 14 that I must say is just very underrated. So that is the Translate app in its full entirety in iOS 14. So thank you for watching this video on the Translate app in iOS 14. Please be sure to subscribe to this video. Please smash the like button down below so we know you watched. Also be sure to subscribe for more great content and be sure to uh, follow me on all the social media platforms of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and my username there is Apple Critics. And be sure to once again subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.